guys welcome back to the channel as you i am your host Selassie asipia we're going to talk today about kamal dean sulemana who yesterday uh, trained for the very first time in a long while with his teammates kamal dean on his road to recovery revealed how tedious and how painful it has been for him being on the sidelines and watching his teammates play it hasn't been an easy journey on the road back to fitness after sustaining an injury that ruled him out of the playoffs that Ghana played versus Nigeria for the World Cup. Thankfully, we were able to make it and Kamal Dean could be fit in time for Ghana's uh, Afghan 2023 qualifiers uh, versus Madagascar and then Central African Republic early in June. We look at his progress so far. We're also going to talk about Ghana athletics for a bit and the minister's update in investment that has been going on into athletics. We are in a golden era where Ghana can possibly win gold at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, Benjamin Azamati uh, broke his own record for this season as well once again over the weekend, running at 9.86 second it was an amazing weekend it is an amazing season with him and joseph paul amwa along with deborah who are making ghana proud what is the investment going into the athletics we we'll hear from the minister of youth and sports and also otoado latest the gfa have stated they do not have a problem with otoado combining both jobs at dogmont and with the ghana black stars all today as usual subscribe if you have not I click on the notification bell to get more updates. Without much ado, we'll start off from the Kamal Dean Suleimana before we get into athletics. And Kamal Dean Suleimana has been on the sidelines for quite a while now. The Ghanaian young winger spoke about his uh, struggles in having to watch his teammates from the sidelines and not participating. He had an issue with his backboard and uh, owing to that this injury has been something which he has not been used to because one minute you are getting back on your feet another minute when you want to train a bit it gets worse this has been an up and down uh, movement a whirlwind of emotions for him and uh, he has returned to training for the very first time with his teammates the young star returned to training with Ren on monday after being sidelined for more than two months with a back injury and Asulemana has not played since sustaining an injury against PSG on February 11th. Asulemana season appeared to be over, but he has recovered and expected to play in the final two games for Ren, who are vying for a Europa League spot. Kamaldin will be absent in Nantes on Wednesday, but I have high hopes that he can apply in the final game of the season against Marseille, coach Bruno said. Suleimana's debut season has been ruined by injury. He moved to rent from Danish side FC Norseland for an undisclosed fee of 20 million euros. He hit the ground running right away, scoring a spectacular goal against Long. Uh, Suleimana went on to score three more goals and added two assists, finishing the first round as one of the team's best players. However, due to injury, he has not enjoyed the second round. Suleimana was a member of the Black Star squad that was eliminated from the group stages of the African Cup of Nations in January. He did not, however, make the squad for the Nigeria game where Ghana progressed ahead of the Super Eagles uh, to make it into the World Cup proper this year. So Kamaldin Suleimana, unfortunate he has been out for this long. Thankfully, he is getting back on his Feet. We hope to see him versus Madagascar and Central African Republic. My next story has to do with Ghana Athletics and uh, the lack of investment thereof that has been going into athletics. Uh, but still, we get the result from that front. We invest a lot into football in this country, and this could be the golden era of Ghana Athletics. Benjamin Azameti, Joseph Paul Amwa and Deborah who have now been doing amazing things. Over the weekend, Benjamin Azameti broke his own record, running at 9.86 seconds. This season alone, he has run 9.90 seconds, 9.96 and then now 9.86 in the space of three weeks. This is a golden era for Ghana Athletics. If we do not support them now, 
and help them reach the potential they can reach uh, we might be in for a long wait for another group of athletes like this but uh, the minister of youth and sports in a press briefing has confirmed that five million ghana cities has been invested into preparations for the commonwealth games which we stand a great chance of winning a medal a gold one at that in athletics the sports minister in a press briefing said uh, he has confirmed that a total of five million ghana cities has been invested by the government in sporting disciplines other than football as part of preparation uh, towards the commonwealth games and according to the minister the said investment that helped ghana nearly reach its target of qualified athletes at the upcoming games 113 from a targeted 120 already booking the air tickets to birmingham uh, the already qualified athletes range from hockey weightlifting and beach volleyball ghana will be looking to improve on their bronze medal recorded at the 2018 games in gold coast australia the 2022 commonwealth games in birmingham will run from 28th july to 8th august 2022 Sector Minister also confirmed at the press briefing that the 10 youth resource centers already across the country are 90% complete at the phase one stage. The projects which started between 2018 and 2019 were to take 18 months to complete but some constraints have led to various delays. According to the minister, the project is in two phases with the second phase set to commence as soon as the first phase is completed he said the first phase of construction of the 10 youth resource centers across the country are 90 percent complete we expect total completion of that phase in the coming months for the second phase to begin immediately the facilities situated across the country are expected to seat about 10,000 spectators and include an ict center boxing gym a tennis and basketball court and a restaurant so uh, some form of investment is going into the Commonwealth Games and into building facilities to promote other sports aside football. So great to hear that from the minister. Hope it's not just all talk and it will be backed by action. But this is a golden era for Ghana Athletics as Zameti and his colleagues are leading that golden era front. Hopefully in the Commonwealth Games uh, they do well for us. My final story has to do with the Otto Addo administration, uh, which the FA General Secretary Harrison Addo has said they do not have a problem uh, with Otto Addo combining his work at Dortmund and also with the Black Stars, which has been a lot of concern for myself personally and some of you. You feel that the Black Stars job, as I also feel, is a, a big one and the uh, coach should have his full concentration on the national team. Otoado was with Dortmund and he was not allowed to come in to help with the African Cup of Nations. Will Dortmund hinder him from or to coach for any of the games that we have because they are still having him under contract? Those are some of the concerns. But Prosper Harrison Addo, General Secretary, says the FA has been talking to the coaches of clubs and very soon we will finalize contract with them. We are working to get all the technical teams together as advised by the president. We have to agree contracts to get other stakeholders such as government which is responsible for paying the national team coaches to agree to the terms then we sign the contract. Addo had earlier revealed that Dortmund has permitted him to continue working for Ghana and uh, it is what is going to happen from now onwards. The FA say they have no problem with that because the president requested it. The Minister of Youth and Sports in my earlier post has said that they are looking to come to terms with that one. So we'll keep an eye out when the official announcement is made, which is imminent, as preparations have already started for the games. The Black Stars will be taking part in. We will let you guys know. So that has been it for today. The golden era of athletics. We need to cash in now and support. Also talking about Kamal Dane's eminent return. He has trained the team for the first time since his injury in February 11th. We've also been talking about uh, Autoado combining Dortmund and Black Stars. The FA say we have no problem with that. Do you have a problem with that? Let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.